In this video, we're going to learn about the muffin mixing method. So for any baking method, we're going to start with properly scaled ingredients, which I have scaled out by weight here. Uh, so to begin our muffin method, we need to start by uh, sifting our dry ingredients together. So I'm gonna use a tammy sieve or a drum sieve for this. I can just place this right over top of my bowl. So I'm gonna add from this muffin uh, ratio I'm using, we're gonna use uh, flour, sugar, baking powder, and salt. Then I'm going to use my bowl scraper and just press the dry ingredients through my sieve. All right, so I have my dry ingredients sifted together. I'm gonna just set this aside. And our next step is going to be to combine all of our liquid ingredients. So that's going to include for this ratio, our milk, our eggs, Uh, and our oil. For this ratio, we're using oil. Uh, if I was using butter, I would uh, melt the butter and I would include that in my uh, liquid ratio as well. And lastly, I'll include my vanilla extract. All right, now I wanna use a whisk and just combine all of my liquid ingredients. It's important that we have the liquid ingredients well combined because in our next step, when we add our liquid to our dry ingredients, we're gonna to try to mix as little as possible. So if I didn't have my egg uh, well separated into my liquid ingredients, I would have to over mix when I added the liquid to the flour, which would give our uh, muffins a, a tough consistency. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my liquid ingredients and pour them into my dry. Scrape out my bowl, make sure I have accurate ratio. And I'm just gonna mix together my liquid and dry ingredients until all of my uh, flour, all of my dry base is moistened. Um, you're gonna see that this, uh, this is gonna be a little bit lumpy uh, and that's okay. Um, it's better to have uh, this be a little bit lumpy uh, than to over mix it and end up with tough muffins. You can see I'm scraping around the sides of my bowl, making sure I get the bottom so that there's no uh, areas that aren't mixed. All right, so I'm gonna go one more motion here. All right, so uh, this is where I'm gonna stop mixing at this point. You can see that all of our uh, liquid and dry ingredients have combined together uh, and are well moistened, um, but there are still some lumps remaining uh, and that's okay. It's better to have uh, this be a little bit lumpy uh, than to over mix it and end with tough uh, muffins. Uh, this is also the point where if I was going to add um, maybe some fruit or uh, chocolate pieces, uh, whatever it may be, that I would go ahead and add that and uh, mix that in uh, as well. All right, so let's review our muffin mixing method. First, we're going to start by sifting together all of our dry ingredients. We're then going to combine all of our liquid ingredients, including the fat and eggs that we're using, and then mix those wet and dry ingredients together. Finally, be careful not to over mix your muffins. It's okay for the batter to be lumpy, and better to be lumpy than to have tough muffins at the end.